Kyle Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing, Greg Beck from Takaraki with episode 3 of Wednesdays with Greg. This week we're going to talk about a topic that's near and dear to my heart and Uwe's heart, I know, because we've both run out together. We're talking about fuel, how you plan your trip, how you plan your fuel stops, and what you do in the dire event that you happen to run out of fuel on the road. I hate it so bad I plan way ahead so I don't run out of gas. I usually have a bigger gas tank than normal to extend my range. I'm, I'm pretty aware of my surroundings, so I know how much fuel I need to get somewhere and get back. When it comes to Uwe and myself, sometimes we're like, oh dude, we got just enough gas. I think we can make it to the next point destination. Take a look at this clip. It didn't work out well. <laughs> well as you can see by the road, we're pretty much in the middle of nowhere. And uh, yeah, according to the last guy we talked to, gas is on the other side of that mountain range half hour ago where uh, there was just lots of road in front of us and the gas gauge was on E. Well, now the gas gauge is below E and the bike no longer moves. And uh, that's not only my problem, but uh, that Victory Vision right there, yeah, it ran out of gas at exactly the same time I ran out of gas. So we put the spare gas bottle in Uwe's Vision. He's going to ride to the gas station. Hopefully he might, he'll make it there video clip, Uwe and I had a reserve bottle of fuel. Well, it worked to get the vision to the gas station. So what do you do in the event that you do run out of fuel? How do you overcome that scenario? I think you have to stop and analyze the situation. How many people are there? Let's just say it's two guys, you and Uwe, and Uwe does have extra fuel. How do you get it from his bike to your bike? Uh, a couple of different ways. One is, depends on how accessible the petcocks are. You might want to put a clear line on a petcock, put it into a bottle. Right and make sure the bottle's clean or rinse it out and then obviously pour it in the tank. But all these modern fuel injected motorcycles, they don't have a petcock. They don't have a valve that you can unplug the hose, put it into a bottle and then release the fuel. How would you do it on a fuel injected model? You're going to have to siphon from the tank, tank to a container. And uh, a quarter inch clear fuel line, a little longer than this, um, would help do that. I like to use clear because as you get it in the tank and you're sucking on it, you can actually start to see it coming so you don't have to drink as much gas because it, it's not fun. I think planning your trip and not running out of gas is the best thing because it can be a dangerous situation. If you run out of gas while on the freeway and you're in the fast lane, dangerous. If you're out in the middle of nowhere with no help, dangerous. So a little planning, knowing your bike, knowing your surrounding goes a long ways to having a a much more fun ride than put yourself in a predicament. So there you have it. Running out of fuel can be dangerous, so make sure you have the proper precautions. Make sure you know where your next fuel stop is, and if you're going to be pushing the limits, make sure you have either a bottle of fuel or a siphon hose with you. And if you're taking a siphon hose, make sure you have a source of fuel in order to be able to use that hose. Yeah. Last week we were talking about um, how to tie your bike down, and I forgot this really cool product. This is a locking tie down that will not only tie your bike down but lock it so when you come back it's still there. So join us next week we talk about motorcycle security, how you prevent your items and your motorcycle from walking away while you're gone.